Louisiana Beer Review's Founders KBS 2019, the amazing Cosmickey's highly acclaimed KBS, a flavored stout. Okay, blah 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 blah. Asian oak bourbon barrels. I believe it's Heaven Hill bourbon. 12.2% alcohol, 70 international bitterness units. Uh, this was bottled on March 6, 2019, less than a month old. Age in our oak bourbon barrels for an entire year to make sure wonderful bourbon undertones come through the finish. That's all they say. They don't give any ingredients lists on their website. Huh? Now I've had this beer back to 2014, 2015, 16, so on, and uh, although it's always top-notch, outstanding, remarkably good, for $5.99 a single here, I, I haven't ever really found that it tastes different year to year. I know people will do comparison videos one to the next year, or whatever, or across a number of years, but um, even watching the videos, I find that what they're describing is minimal. And I'm not sure I want to keep buying every year $5 a bottle just to have a repeat, a repeat, a repeat. Although I'm not complaining about it, just want to try different things. So, uh, well, here we go. Can't quite get all of it in there, but close to it. All right, not a very thick head, a thin, tan head, and the appearance on this rainy, cold day in March, March 31st time of recording, 2019, is nearly black. It's very, you can tell it's dark brown, but it's nearly black. Uh, people have asked me, have you tried the CBS? I have not tried it yet. I intend to, though. Okay, so this beer, if you get the four-pack at Rouse's, they don't sell the singles there. But you get the four-pack, it's about uh, 18 something for the four-pack. So a little cheaper there. A little cheaper if you buy the four-pack at Mathern's too. Also, it's 21.99 for the four-pack. Haven't seen the bigger bottles. Very chocolate, chocolatey, dark roasted barley malt. <coughs> you definitely get the bourbon barrel. Dark roasted, very dark roasted, but not burnt, which is a good thing. Uh, sometimes you get these strong, dark, dark beers and they taste burnt. This does not. Bourbon barrel. Um, little vanilla. It's kind of simple in a way that it's like dark, dark roasted malt, some cream, some chocolate, the bourbon. The 70 IBUs might be coming more from the dark, dark roasted thing than the I than the hop action, although it could just be balancing out with the sweetness and you don't pick up a lot of hop uh, flavor. The body, you know, you're getting into heavy now, you're at the lower part of heavy. So medium to heavy body I guess you'd say and um, sort of a sweet finish. Uh, this is one of the better flavored malt beverages you'll get, that's what it says on the bottle, flavored malt beverage. Now it does make you wonder what is it flavored with because um, would putting it in a bourbon used bourbon barrel mean it's flavored though? Oh, I see. Brewed with chocolate and coffee. All right. I actually forgot about that. Um, talked about that in previous videos. That's right. It's flavored with chocolate and coffee. Ale brewed with chocolate and coffee. Aged in bourbon barrels. Okay, well that makes sense since I was talking about the chocolate and the coffee. Um, it doesn't say flavored malt beverage anymore, does it? Change the terminology on the bottles. I know I have some more bottles. I'll look that up. Flavored stout. Ale, okay. A stout 
It's a type of porter, a strong porter, which is a type of ale, which is a type of beer. And malt beverage is another word for beer. Okay, all right, but anyway. Still, with all of that said, I do like the chocolatey notes. It's a dessert product. Be good to have at night after, not in the morning here, but like really at night, a dessert nightcap. Give it a A plus, a 99 out of 100. Not quite world class. I don't know, I never could decide, like, what is it that doesn't make it world class? There's something doesn't put it over 100. But it's just, you know, basically perfect. I mean, think about it, 99 out of 100. But there's some little tiny, tiny, tiny thing missing. And you might say, yeah, well, if you want 100, you better pay 9.99 a bottle. That could be true. You see, 5.99, you might say it's a bargain. So, still, it's wonderful. And I can't see how somebody would complain about it. I don't see how so lazy. La if you complain about the price, it doesn't make sense because you don't even have to buy it, right? Just ignore it. So, laissez les bon temps relais. An outstanding beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.